Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. And today I want to show you the really, really easy way to bend or curve text in Inkscape. So I have this design here, and I wanted to curve the text around the hearts. Um, and the way most people do it, let me just show you a really quick um, example of what most people do. They'll pull in a circle, and then they'll type a word or a phrase. Um, Hold on. Okay. They'll have this phrase here, all you need is love. And then they will have their text highlighted. They'll highlight their circle as well, and they'll come to text, put on path. And you can see that it curves the text. And from here, you edit the circle to get the um, text looking however you want it. You can stretch out your circle, you can make your circle skinny, you can make your circle bigger, smaller, whatever. That's how most people go about curving their text in Inkscape. However, there is an easier way that's going to give you a more precise um, curve about it. When you're messing with that circle, there's a lot of steps you have to go through and you don't have individual control of the letters you can only control the circle. The other way to do it is pull in your text again. I'm just going to do all you need to begin with. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Um, for, this, for this way to work, your text needs to be a path. So all you need to do is while you have your text selected, come up here to path and object to path. And now this is no longer text. Let me show you what I mean. So here's this all you need here. And if you look down here, it says text, and it's the Hello Butterfly script. If I click this one, it says group of nine objects in a layer. This is a path, and a path is what we need for this um, method to work. So here is my wording selected. I'm going to come up to path scroll down to path effects and what that does is bring up a new window over here for me and you should then have a blue plus sign if you are trying to do this on something that is not a path you will not have this option available it will be grayed out like this minus sign here so click this plus sign and it is going to pull up a ton of different path effects there's so much stuff in here like you could really get lost but what we want is bend. Select that and we now have the bend menu. There's a few things in here you don't really need to mess with. Um, the first time you open it it's going to be set to everything that you need. All you want to do is click this little thing. These are the nodes and it's going to bend them for you. So click it. You see this line that came in here? I can now bend this text any way I want. I can drag the line this way I can drag the line this way, I can bend over here, I can bend over here, I can move this anywhere I want. Let me undo all of that. Okay, so now I have my straight line again. Okay, so let me start here in the middle again, and I'm going to pull up. Let me turn this off. And now you can see I've got these little guys where I can pull way up and over here. I can arrange this in so many different ways. I can make this curved. I can make the letters taller, shorter. You know, there's so much here that I can do that I couldn't do with just the circle. So here's a wavy line of all you need. So when you're doing it this way, it is much easier to wrap your wording around whatever it is that you're wanting to curve it around because you have complete control of each and every letter. When you are done, though, you need to select all of it and make sure it's a path one more time. And if you have a script font, you might need to even come in and individually select each letter 
and unite it, path union, so that it keeps its shape no matter where you go and what you do. And that's really all there is to it. That is the easy, easy way of bending text in Inkscape. Let's go over it one more time just so you remember everything. So first, bring in your text. Make it a little bit bigger. Turn your text to a path, path, object to path. And then you want path effects, path effects. Come grab your little arrow, bend, click on the nodes, you'll get your line, and you can bend. Bend up, bend down, straighten back out, make it longer. This one down here is what makes your letters taller or skinnier. And that's it. That's all there is to it. We'll see you next time.